Hi, I'm Phil Constantino, and this Travels with Phil. We're going to the Gettysburg National Military Park, and specifically to Little Round Top. Now, this is Little Round Top. You see it right there in the middle of the video here. This is one of the most dramatic, most famous encounters at the three-day battle at Gettysburg. You can see the map here. It's toward the southern end of the uh, park there. You can see over on the right there by number eight. And it was two hills off toward the end. And basically what happened was the Union lines were along the top of the ridge there, Cemetery Ridge. And they uh, decided to defend it against the Confederates. And this is the very end of the line. And some very severe battles went on here at this particular spot. You're looking at toward the top. This is a long view from below. And you can see right here, this is Little Round Top right there. And then over on the right-hand side, that's Big Round Top. What much fighting with, uh, going on through there. Uh, the, the troops came across through there. There was some fighting, of course. Now, this is an actual view of the area just after the war. These are some of the, what they call breastworks. This is what the soldiers would get behind. And this map shows you where the uh, Confederate forts and red uh, forces were coming up from the south up against the blue forces there for the Union. And this was the end of their line. If they were to swamp this line, they'd be able to come in and just keep, go across the edge of the ridge and the Confederates might have won the day. Joshua Chamberlain was in charge of the 20th Maine. He was considered one of the heroes there. The def folks from the Confederacy, Brigadier General Evander Law was the forces facing him. And there's been many movies made about Gettysburg, and they almost always include what happened here with the 20th Maine, which was at the end of the line, Little Round Top. And in fact, uh, hold the ground at all hazards. Uh, that was uh, what the uh, colonel told his troops. You have to go out there. He had 385 men with him. They were facing a large group of Confederates who made a couple of charges up the hill. They fixed bayonets. The Union uh, forces did after they ran out of ammo, went down the hill, and managed to win the day for the Union forces there at the end of the line. That wasn't the end of the war, wasn't the end of the battle, but it was a major, major turning point uh, in the uh, battle there at Gettysburg. And they call them the Tenacious 20th Maine. And so you'll, you'll see it in a lot of movies. They'll talk about this particular one. Now that's uh, at one end. It's down among the trees, down the slope. At the top here, there's a couple of monuments. You see a very good view of the surrounding uh, battlefields here at Gettysburg. Uh, the uh, Devil's Den there over on the left-hand side. Another uh, famous battle spot here at Gettysburg. There's lots of spots where people were... Uh, fighting up there at uh, Gettysburg. This is the 44th and 12th New York Castle Monument, one of the most famous and actually the most expensive monument built out there. And it is very distinctive and you'll be able to see it from uh, quite a distance down on the ground. And uh, there are lots of monuments out here at uh, Gettysburg as there are in many Civil War battlefields and this is just uh, one of the particular ones out here now again there's there are uh, photos that were taken uh, just after the uh, battle was going on uh, Matthew Brady uh, and folks like that were out here taking photos I don't know if Brady was actually here for the battle itself but uh, again this is the devil's den down below there were sharpshooters up on top that were shooting down toward that way and it wasn't just the 20th Maine. There were four different uh, groups there. We had the uh, 16th Michigan, the 44th New York, the 83rd Pennsylvania, and the 20th Maine. But they had some sharpshooters up here. They were able to shoot down toward the Devil's Den, and that's why that particular spot was such a uh, real uh, serious uh, battle going on because they were shooting at you from the ground level and from the hill up above. That's why the heights are very important. This is the 91st Pennsylvania Infantry uh, Monument, which is the two towering kind of monuments you see up here when you're looking at it from down below on the ground. They called it the Union Fishhook because this was the end of the line and it curved around and it was trying to prevent the... Uh, Confederates from flanking the Union forces here. Uh, the uh, Confederates had all kinds of folks over on the uh, west side, and it was the Union forces that were more on the east side, again, looking down from toward the uh, top of the monument, toward the battlefield below. Now, Union Army Chief Engineer Brigadier General Governor, I don't know how to say his first name, Warren, he came out toward here and he could see there was only just a signal corps out here and he could see lots of uh, Confederate soldiers approaching. He could see the glint off their uh, bayonets. He uh, ran back, rode back, and got additional folks to come down here and support this uh, spot. And that's what led for all these uh, four different units coming down here. And that's uh, what basically saved the day because he found it. So that's why his... Uh, uh, statue is out there too because uh, he basically saved the day in realizing this was going to be a very serious spot because if the confederates had gotten up here on top of the hill 
they could have overrun the Union forces or at least have a spot where their sharpshooters could shoot down on them. So this is Little Round Top at Gettysburg National Military Park. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up by clicking on the button below. You're welcome to leave comments below as long as the language is family friendly. And finally, if you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe to my channel by clicking the button over on the bottom right hand corner. Thank you again for watching.